In our challenge to create a class, we were asked to create a car class with some member variables and a couple of methods, and then to instantiate that within our program. For this solution, the way that I have created it is we are going to right-click our project and add a class separate from the program class. We give our class the name car, clicking the Add button, adds it to our project as a new class. Visual Studio automatically opens the class code window in our code editor and allows us to go ahead and start adding the necessary member variables and methods to our car class. We're not going to focus on dealing with properties and encapsulation in this particular class. This is just a simple demonstration of creating a class. So we're going to use public member variables so we can access them from our program.cs file. We're going to create a string value called make for our car. We're also going to create another public string member variable called model. And one more public member variable of string type for the color of the car. We also said that we wanted to create two methods. The first method we will create will be a public method. It will not return any value, so we use the void keyword. And we're going to call our first method drive. The method will have empty parentheses because we're not accepting any parameters for this. The body of our method are the curly braces. And within our drive method, we simply want it to state that we were driving. So we will use our familiar console.write line and we will output to the console window that we are indeed driving. And to finish off our class, one more public method. In this case, we'll also use the void keyword. And this one we will call stop. Again, empty parentheses because we're not accepting any parameters. Set up the body of our method using console.writeLine. We will output stopping. And that will complete our car class. So again, we have three member variables, all public, string types, make, model, and color, and two public methods that we can call for driving the car and stopping the car. Now, in order to create this car, we'll step back into a program.cs file and we'll get ready to instantiate a new car object in program.cs. The important thing to remember that we have created our car class inside the same namespace, create class solution, that our program.cs file exists in. This means we don't need to include any using statements to bring that car class into our application. Program.cs knows all about car class, and as you can see, the IntelliSense tells us indeed it does. So we'll create a car, and I'm going to be selfish and call this my car. Car my car equals, we use the new keyword for instantiating an object. IntelliSense knows we're creating a new car, so you can just press tab here. Put your open and closing parentheses and end your statement with a semicolon. Now we have a new object that represents our car. This one is called my car. We asked you to go ahead and set some values for those member variables. So we'll say my car and pressing the dot operator brings up the list of values that we have available. We can set the make equal to, and because it is a string value, we must set the value for this variable within the double quotes, and we will call this Chevrolet. Again, remember, we always end all of our statements with semicolons. MyCar.model equals Camaro. And my car color is black. So if you see a black Chevy Camaro on the road, stay out of my way. Thank you. And we will finally call the methods for our car. So we can simply, again, use my car dot. In this case, we want to say, let's drive the car. Notice that we still use the full open close parentheses, even though there are no arguments being passed in. And we can say my car dot stop. And this should complete our code, and if we do a control F5, we should see two messages print out to the console window. Control F5, certainly it says we are driving and we are stopping. That's all it takes to create a car class 
and to instantiate it within our program file. 